Hey everybody, Michael DiTullo here with another designer unboxing. My friends over at Kohan hooked me up with a new uh, set of new shoes and I thought I'd do a little unboxing to review them. Now, interestingly, Kohan is known for decades as being kind of a dress shoe manufacturer. This brand actually invented the penny loafer decades ago. But recently they've been getting into some kind of light performance shoes and they sent me a few to try. I thought I'd unbox them and take a look. Let's let's dive into the first one. The first one here is the, called the Zero Grand Outpace 3. This one seems to be kind of the more technical of the two. Some interesting details that I'm really keen to kind of look at close up. So we've got kind of a, a nice kind of traditional running shoe upper going on here, which I appreciate. I, I tend to really like kind of more classic running shoe uppers, but that is contrasted with um, a more kind of technical looking outsole, midsole unit with a lot of geometry. So let's kind of take it uh, one half at a time. I'm gonna start with the outsole, midsole. So one of the things here on the outsole is we've got two separate rubber pods. This is frequently done for weight reduction. In a running shoe, you wanna make it as light as possible. I'm gonna get the stuffing out here. You wanna make it as light as possible. So any rubber you can remove is gonna help uh, with some weight gain, uh, some weight savings gain. Now, everything in life is, is, a, is a compromise. So the more you get rid of that rubber, the less durable the, the underside is. So one thing that's interesting is, so this, this injection EVA here, which I'm sure has some rubber content to make it the skin a little bit more durable, but this is all ground contact. So this is gonna wear probably the fastest on the shoe. Um, but you know where you have the highest wear areas, the, the heel strike zone and the toe off zone here, you have rubber. So should last a good long time. Uh, one of the other interesting things they did here, you notice these these yellow pops. So the yellow is this injected EVA and they've cut through the rubber, again, to save a little bit of weight here, but also that's gonna increase flexibility. Notice how when I flex the shoe, that yellow stretches a little bit more, right? Because that EVA is gonna be softer than the rubber. So by alleviating some of the rubber here in the forefoot, they're increasing that flexibility. They've also done it a little bit in the heel, but here it's just gonna be for, for weight savings. You're not gonna get a lot of flexibility there. I mean, maybe on heel impact, if you're a heel striker, that's gonna flex a little bit more, but mostly it's, I'm sure, for heel, um, for weight savings. A Little bit of subtle branding in the outsole, not, not a whole bunch of big logos or anything like you would typically see in a, in a running shoe, but we've got a Cole Haan logo and a Grand 360 embossed here. So kind of grand is typically what they kind of call their, their cushioning platform, uh, sometimes called zero grand. You can see a little Grand 360 on the side of the midsole here. One thing that's interesting here, kind of continuing this trend in running shoes where the heel extends a bit for heel strike. Uh, we kind of saw this start in long distance marathon shoes but uh, a nice thing to have for a casual jogger, especially if you're a heel striker. Um, and then a lot of geometry going on here in the midsole. This is gonna help visually in terms of kind of uh, creasing, right? So in the EVA midsole, you'll get a lot of what looks like these kind of lightning creases. As the midsole compresses, right, the foam compresses, it will crease this outer skin. So if you have some kind of forms going on on the side, it helps to disguise those creases because those creases will tend to want to happen where there's any kind of forms. Ironically, there's none or there's less up here in the flex zone. So typically under the metatarsal heads, right? That's where the most flexing is gonna happen in the shoe. See that, see that, those lightning? Those little, those little creases already happening for me just doing that. And now those will be there permanently. And now if you're, but if you're running in it, that's just gonna happen more and more and more. So a lot of times in a running shoe, you'll see a few notches here that, that will one, alleviate the aesthetic of those, those little lightning bolts or creases. Uh, but also it does really fun, it makes a big difference. Even just some, a few notches up here 
adds to the flexibility. All right, let's get into the upper. As I said, I really like kind of the classic lines of this upper, just a lot of nice visual blocking in terms of some striping here in the saddle. Um, we've got kind of a microfiber overlays, and then this is a, a monofilament mesh, and then some more microfiber underneath. So you could see there's actually like a very thin translucent mesh over top of that perfed microfiber. So a nice little detail. Um, it, you know, it's gonna add a little bit of durability, but it's mostly kind of style points. It adds a lot of breathability here where you see there's no, there's no microfiber, right? So we literally, you could see my hand do that monofilament mesh. I mean, this monofilament mesh is, it's basically like a fishing line that's woven together. The, the upper is stitched, a lot of stitching versus welding, which, you know, there's, the trend has been towards welding in a lot of running shoes, but I personally like the kind of crafted touch the stitching adds, and they've done some fun things with the stitching here where they have a, a double line of stitching, and you'll see that kind of peels away down here before the overlay ends, and then this this stitch is gonna have to come back, like a, the machine does literally two lines of stitching, so then a secondary operation to get this second stitch here. And then we've got a little bit of a, a, a navy blue stitch that's stitching through this monofilament mesh to the microfiber that's perforated underneath. And then you'll notice this, this, this um, microfiber or this um, monofilament, right? It's basically plastic, so you can weld to it. So notice there's a very subtle Cole Haan logo that's welded to that. We've got an additional stitch here that's just, just showing a little bit of crafting and then a double thick hand stitch here. Same kind of stitch treatment going on with this heel overlay. We've got a slight reflective hit and a, a CH Cole Haan logo. Very nice, clean, simple upper. We've got a, a U-Bell Iro. This is called a U-Bell, right? So it's this uninterrupted kind of U. But there's some fun stuff going on here. So interestingly enough, here we do have a little bit of welding. And then a, there's a silver piece, a welded silver part. I'm not sure if that's going to be reflective or not, but probably. And then they did some fun stuff here where this, this piece that's under the monofilament is coming up and then you're actually lacing through that individual part, which is pretty cool. I really like the way they did this bottom lace stay too. That's just a nice, that's a nice clever detail. Um, a lot of times I notice like tongues and shoes are very under designed, they're unconsidered, but this one surprisingly has got a lot of nice little crafted touches. So we've got this navy tongue that has purfs in it. You can kind of see that here. And then there's a little overlay to, again, catch the lace. So these little things, it's going to keep every the tongue nice and centered. It's going to move around a lot less on you because of this little lace stay. And then they added the secondary logo piece here. This is really cool, the way this flips over and becomes a nice little pull loop. And then there's a third piece over top of that. So actually, look at this. This is actually pretty cool. We've got this tongue top material and then the lining it's it's actually welded to the lining and that's that's nicely done that's like a lot of thought went into that tongue part and you know it's not a bad thing to do because this is what you see when you put the shoe on right once the shoe's on you this is actually what you're seeing nice subtle kind of running shoe classic running shoe detail sometimes it's called m toe just a little a little dip here but Notice this also is a nice little pickup to dress shoes, right? We've got a little bit of like a, a wingtip Oxford vibe from this. Kind of looks traditional running shoe and traditional brown shoe at the same time. And that's a, a nice little um, detail for a kind of dress slash work shoe company getting into a performance shoe. I don't have a scale on me here, but, but pretty lightweight. Um, sock liner, very simple. We just have a zero grand. Uh, print on it. So that's the first shoe. Let's dig into the second. Second, a little bit more of a lifestyle vibe to it. This one's called the 5.0 Grand Runner. Similar, similar aesthetic, but a slightly different vibe. So we can compare and contrast these two, which would be kind of cool. Let's get the stuffing out. So colorway on this one is, is kind of a classic white on white with gum rubber outsole. 
and then um, just some very light tan leather hits here. This is a, a classic athletic shoe colorway that you could pretty much rock with anything, so super wearable. Let's, let's start with the shoe the same way. We we'll start with the bottom and, and work our way to the top. So notice, again, comparing and contrasting, this shoe has a full length outsole. So we're gonna get a little bit more durability out of this, but they have reduced the weight again by cutting away in certain areas. And then check this out. Remember I was talking about the flex notches that you can add in the forefoot? Well, this shoe has them on the bottom. So watch just when we do this. See how, see how those, just those subtle little notches, that geometry literally helps to act like a hinge. We've got the same thing here though, where, where that, that uh, top line is creasing. You know, a few, a few little notches up here might have smoothed that out a little bit. The, and then a similar kind of geometry going on, on on the sidewall. But it looks like what we've got going on here is possibly some dual density. So I could see there's some, this is all injection, kind of a, a, a white EVA foam. But inside, I could see there's some, some darker gray foam, which is really interesting. I'm going to assume that that is a, a softer density so that you're going to get a little bit more cushioning out of that. Another really cool detail on this, um, mid, on this midsole is this molded clip here. So a lot of times you'll see on a running shoe, there'll be a little molded heel clip for stability. And this one kind of nicely tails off. I can literally like see the sketch for that. That sketch line just going like, and it, it makes a nice little action. Um, interestingly, like the heel on this is a little bit different. Notice the heel on this first shoe is very straight. Right, very straight up and down. And I tend to like, when I draw shoes and design shoes, I like there to be a little bit of a, of a curvature there, but that's very dependent on two things. One, the last, having a little bit of heel and the curvature of the last, but also the construction. So if there's just a, a cardboard counter in here, it's not going to have that kind of return. But I'm gonna assume that there's a molded counter in this one where they did a heat operation because notice how there's just a little bit of curvature there that gives it just a little bit more of a dynamic feel. The upper on this one is a really cool combination of welding and stitching. So we've got some really cool stitch details. So a similar kind of stitched uh, toe bumper here, but notice this little, this little um, dive here in the toe bumper. That again, gonna help flexibility. But then we've got a secondary bumper um, that's welded. And actually, there's two layers to that. So notice we've got a similar kind of M toe slash Oxfordy wingtip thing going on here, but it's all welded on. Even a more traditional M toe going up to here. We also have a monofilament mesh, but it's got a little bit more of a, a diamond detail to it in the weave, just makes it a little bit more interesting. And then we've got a secondary stitch. This is just what they call a deco stitch or a decorative stitch, it's not, it's not gonna do a whole lot. It's just, it's giving you this uh, visual line that ties back to, to Oxford shoes. Similar welded logo here at the Cole Haan, and then this piece is also welded, which is pretty cool. And then to those welded pieces, we have the stitched counter, another microfiber counter, some more hand stitches. This is cool, I like the way this is done, where see how that's not actually sewn down? They've actually just sewn this top edge of it and let this bottom edge float on the leather and then just had these two hand stitches, but a little bit of reflective there. See how that's hiding a center seam? Nicely done. I like to see that kind of thinking. A debossed logo here, very tonal. We also have a, a U-Bell Iro, but it's a little bit uh, funkier, but this kind of zigzag stitch uh, or zigzag shape to it and then some leather hits that poke out from underneath that we're lacing to. Much simpler tongue on this shoe. We've got a nice um, spacer mesh here. Very thin, might be linerless. Thin, uh, it's a thin, there's a thin lining and then this is taped and zigzag stitch. So it's a stretch, nice stretch and finish to that. Again, kind of a leather pull loop and a leather um, little lace keeper here to keep that tongue centered. This, this feels really nice. This leather is, you can see this leather is very thick, 
which gives you a nice high quality feel. This is where you're gonna pull the shoe on and it gives it a nice vibe. I wish I had a scale here so I could weigh these. I was expecting this one to be a little bit lighter, but just from my hand feel, I think this one's actually much lighter and it must be because of that dual density foam. So I'm gonna assume that this foam in the center is a bit, bit on the lighter side versus what's going on with this shoe. But there you have it, a couple of new Cole Haan running shoes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these out for a run and see how they feel. It's real interesting to see this heritage kind of work shoe, dress shoe brand getting into this performance space with some, some pretty technical product here. Um, so nice job to the, the Cole Haan design and development team and look forward to taking these out for a run. All right, everybody, Michael DiTullo, another designer unboxing. Have a great day.